Warren William here from Smartest Data. In this video, I'm going to count down the 10 largest stock exchanges around the world by their market capitalization, discuss our major indexes, sectors and stocks, and see how their performance has been year to date. Let's go to the video. Okay, let's commence the countdown to number one with the 10th largest stock exchange in the world, the Toronto Stock Exchange in Toronto, Canada. The TSX has over 2,200 companies listed on it with a market cap of 3.1 trillion US dollars, around 2.95% of total global market cap. The TSX is known as a resource index with mining, oil and gas companies being important to the TSX along with the six banks. Some of the well-known listed companies listed on the exchange include the Royal Bank of Canada, TD Bank, Suncor Energy and Fortis. The TSX trades all common financial security stocks, bonds, futures, options, commodities and ETFs. The two key indexes are the TSX Composite Index and the TSX 60, comprised mainly of energy companies. The TSX Composite Index, which makes up around 70% of the market capitalization on the Toronto Exchange, can be used to keep track of the top 100 Canadian companies. Year to date, the TSX Composite Index is down around 6.3%. Coming in at number 9 is the Bombay Stock Exchange, the BSC. The Bombay Stock Exchange was set up by the British in 1875. It is the oldest stock exchange in Asia, located in Mumbai. More than 5,500 companies are listed on the Bombay Stock Exchange. Total market capitalization is 3.96 trillion US dollars, around 3.7% of global market cap. Most of the companies listed are small cap companies. The big blue chip companies include Reliance Industries and Infosys. There are two important indexes in India, the BSC Sensec from the Bombay Stock Exchange and the Nifty 50 from the National Exchange. The BSC Sensec is India's most watched index. The BSC Sensec is a market-weighted, free-floating stock market index made up of 30 well-known financially stable companies listed on the Bombay Stock Exchange. The other well-known index, as mentioned, is the Nifty 50. It is a weighted average of 50 of the largest Indian companies listed on the other Indian Stock Exchange, the National Stock Exchange. The Nifty Nifty 50 has actually become one of India's most important financial products with ETFs, exchange traded options on the NYSE and futures and options. Year to date, the BSC Sensec Exchange has returned a positive return of 4.4%. The countdown continues coming at number 8 is the London Stock Exchange, one of the oldest stock exchanges in the world. The LSE has two markets, the main market of over 300 large cap companies from all the way around the world and the other market is the alternative investment market, a global market for small cap companies. Around 3,000 companies with a total market value of just over 4 trillion US dollars is listed on the exchange. This represents about 3.8% of total global market cap. Some of the well-known British companies that are traded on the LSE are Barclays Bank, British Petroleum and Galaxo Smith Klein. Banks, oil and gas and healthcare are some of the key industry sectors. The key indexes are the FTSE 100, the FTSE 250, the FTSE 350 and the FTSE All Share. The FTSE 100 index is one of the most well-known and quoted indexes. The index has its constituents, 100 of the large cap companies listed on the London Stock Exchange. Year to date, the FTSE 100 is down around 2.6%. Coming at number 7 is the Shenzhen Stock Exchange. Shenzhen in China is also called the China's Silicon Valley, is home to the Shenzhen Stock Exchange. The market value of the companies in the exchange is 5.24 trillion US dollars, around 5.4% of total global market cap. There are more than 1,900 companies currently listed on the exchange. Most companies have their offices in mainland China and use yuan as their currency. Both the A shares and B shares are traded. Remember, the A shares are traded for in the local currency, while the B shares are traded in US dollars for foreign investors. The two key indexes for this exchange are the SZSE Component Index, which includes 500 stocks, and the SZSE 100, which includes the top 100 companies listed on the exchange. You to date, the SZSE Component Index is down around 23.3%. The sixth largest exchange in the world is the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, located in Hong Kong, China. Total market capitalization is 6.1 trillion US dollars, around 5.7% of total market capitalization, 
and is the third largest exchange in Asia. There are more than 2,200 stocks listed on the exchange, and about half of them are from mainland China. Some of the biggest companies in the world like PetroChina, China Mobile, HSBC Holdings, AIA, and Bank of China are listed on the Hong Kong exchange. The main Hong Kong exchange index is the Hang Seng Index. The Hang Seng Index is a free float market cap weighted index. Its constituents are 60 of the largest companies that trade on the Hong Kong exchange. The market cap of these companies combined is about 58% of the Hong Kong exchange total market cap. The index is composed of four subsectors in industry, finance, utilities, and real estate investment trusts. Year to date, the Hang Seng Index is down around 16.6%. Okay, before we move on to number five, if you like the video, like and subscribe, it really does help the channel. And also there's the quick definitions videos which are out there. There's about 160 of them so far. They're there for your education. Coming in at number five is the Tokyo Stock Exchange, TSE, in Tokyo, Japan. There are more than 3,500 companies on the Tokyo Stock Exchange, and their total market value is around 6.8 trillion US dollars, or around 6.4% of total global capitalization. Companies listed on the TSE include Honda, Toyota, Sony, Suzuki, and these are all well known Japanese conglomerates. In 2022, the TSE reorganized into three market segments prime, standard, and growth. The prime market is for listed companies with a level of market capitalization which would be considered suitable for institutional investors. These companies are required to maintain sound corporate governments and be committed to sustainable growth over the medium to longer term. Standard market is for companies which have an appropriate level of market capitalization to be considered as investable securities in the open market. They must keep a basic level of corporate governance expected of listed companies. The growth market is for companies with high growth potential, but they're in the early stage of development, thus pose a high level of investment risk. The two most important indexes on the Tokyo Stock Exchange are the Tokyo Price Index Topics and the Nikkei 225. The Topics uses a free flow capitalization weighted metric to rank companies, while the Nikkei 225 ranks the top 25 companies by price in Japanese yen and rebalances once a year. The Nikkei 225 has its constituents 225 large publicly traded companies in Japan. These companies come from a wide range of industries. Year to date, the Nikkei 225 is down 6.6%. Coming in number four is Euronext, based in the Netherlands, and was started back in the year 2000, a stock exchange covering many European countries. Euronext is also called the European Stock Exchange. Over 1,300 companies are listed on Euronext. Together, they have a market capitalization of 7.3 trillion US dollars, which is around 6.9% of global market capitalization. Key indexes include the Eurostock 600 and the Eurostox 100. The Eurostox 600 has 600 constituents, large medium and small companies from most European countries. Together they make up around 90% of the free float market capitalization of the European stock market. The index includes companies from EU member states. France's weight is around 17% while non-EU member states the United Kingdom is around 24.5% and Switzerland 15%. The largest sectors are healthcare 16%, industrial goods and services 12.3% and food and beverages and tobacco 8.3%. The blue chip Eurostoxx 100 is made up of the 100 largest most liquid stocks listed on the exchange including Nestle, Roche, LVMH, Royal Dutch Shell, Novartis and AstraZeneca. In 2022 year to date the Eurostoxx 600 is down around 13.1%. So on to the third largest stock exchange in the world and the largest stock exchange in Asia, which is the Shanghai Stock Exchange, the SSE, which is located in Shanghai, China. The SSE is made up of more than 1,500 public companies with a total market capital value of 7.6 trillion US dollars. Most of the companies listed on the exchange are former state-run companies, banks, insurance and energy companies, PetroChina, Industrial and Commercial Bank of China, Agricultural Bank of China, these are three of the largest stocks listed on the exchange. The three main sectors are financial and real estate around 24%, industrials around 20% and materials around about 10.5%. Shares are traded on the stock exchange are divided into two classes, Class A and Class B. 
Class A shares on the SSE are priced in Local 1 and only Chinese nationals can invest in the A shares unless the investor qualifies for the foreign investment scheme. The price of the Class B shares is quoted in US dollars. Investors in both domestic and foreign can invest in Class B shares. The key indexes are the SSE Composite Index, the SSE 50 Index, the SSE 180 Index. These are the three most important indexes. The SSE Composite Index, which is also called the SSE Index, is an index of all the stocks that are traded on the Shanghai Stock Exchange. The indexes are all calculated using a market-weighted composite index formula. The SSE Composite Index is an index of all the stocks that are traded on the Shanghai Stock Exchange. All the indexes are calculated using a market-weighted composite price index formula. Year to date, in 2022, the SSE Composite Index is down around 12.8%. Coming into number two is the NASDAQ current market cap around 23.5 trillion US dollars or around 22% of total global market cap. Actually, it was the first stock exchange in the world to trade stocks electronically. Over 3,000 companies are listed on the NASDAQ and average monthly volume is around 6.5%. Microsoft, Alphabet, Meta, Amazon, Telstra, Apple, Nvidia, even after a tough 2022 combined, these seven companies represent just over 7% of total global capitalization. Aside from technology listed on the NASDAQ are companies from a diverse range of sectors, including healthcare, banks, and consumer services. The key indexes are the NASDAQ Composite, the NASDAQ 100, the NASDAQ Non-Financial. The NASDAQ Composite is made up of almost all of the stocks that trade on the NASDAQ Stock Exchange. Around 50% of the companies that make up the NASDAQ Composite are in the tech sector. The NASDAQ Composite is a capitalization weighted index. The NASDAQ 100 is made up of 100 of the largest non-financial companies in the NASDAQ Composite. It is responsible for more than 90% of the movement of the NASDAQ Comp Index. In 2022, it has been a very tough year for the NASDAQ, with the NASDAQ Composite down around about 31%. Coming in at number one is the New York Stock Exchange, the NYSE, with a market capitalization of just over $26 trillion, or around 20% of the global market capitalization. There are more than 2,400 companies listed on the NYSE. Some of these companies are well known, like Coca-Cola, Walmart, JP Morgan Chase, Microsoft, and Johnson & Johnson. Every day, stocks worth billions of dollars are traded, and around 5% of the total market cap is traded every month. Stocks, exchange traded funds, fixed income and options are all the different types of securities that can be bought or sold on the exchange. There are two main indexes, the Dow Jones Industrial and the S&P 500 Index. The S&P 500 is a measure of US large cap stocks. The index has around 15.6 trillion in assets under management benchmark to it, of which around 7.1 trillion is index funds such as ETFs. About 80% of the market capitalization is made up of the 500 largest companies that comprise the index. The S&P 500 index is calculated by market cap. The nine largest companies in the index include Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, Amazon, Telstra, Berkshire Hathaway, United Health Group, Johnson & Johnson, and ExxonMobil. Combined, they make up around 20% of the market cap of the S&P 500. Year to date, the S&P 500 is down around 18.5%. Okay, in closing, here's a graphical representation of the 10 largest stock exchanges around the world. And I also did include in my calculations the next five, as that's around about 11% of total market cap. Okay, no surprises. You can see the dominance of the two US exchanges, the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange, all up, coming close to 50% of global market cap. You can see the rising importance of China with the two mainland Chinese exchanges and also the Hong Kong Exchange. And also to India, congratulations, the only stock market out of the 10 major indexes around the world which recorded a positive return for 2022 year to date. At mid-December, I don't think they're going to give up the 4.4% return. And I'm not sure that any other index is going to get into positive territory at this point in time. <music>